Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here, and welcome back to tutorial number 31. And in this video, I am going to start talking to you guys about some really cool array functions that we can use in PHP. And we're probably going to be talking about these array functions for uh, the next few tutorials. So just stay tuned, and there'll be some exciting stuff to learn. Okay? But in this tutorial, we are going to be specifically taking a look at the implode and explode functions. Okay? So let's take a look at the implode function first. And basically what that does is take an array and then implode it into a string. So it basically joins all the values in the array into one long string. So let's take a look at how to do that, but obviously first we have to make an array. So I'm going to make an array called people, and obviously we're going to set that equal to array, and uh, we'll put in four values here, so one, two, three, four. And I think the first one can be me, Quinton! It's about time I put myself in my tutorials again. And then we'll say Courtney, and then the next one can be Samantha, and the last one will be Sean. So all of them just good friends of mine. And uh, now we can take a look at using this implode function. So obviously you're just going to type in the function name, which is implode, and this function takes two arguments okay the first argument is um, the joining character or like the joining or joiner so this is basically when you join Quinton onto Courtney what do you want to join these two uh, words in the string okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and use a space so now there'll be Quinton space Courtney and then Courtney space Samantha and Samantha space Sean. So that's basically the just the joiner that's going to be uh, in our string. And then the next thing is obviously the array that we want to implode. So since we made this array called people, let's go ahead and use that. Now, of course, I should probably save this result in a variable. So uh, let's make a variable here. We'll just call it new string. Okay, so new string is going to be equal to a string that is made by this implode function. Now let's go ahead and just echo out new string. Okay, and when we do this, uh, go back and click refresh, we now have Quinton space Courtney space Samantha space Sean. Okay, and uh, just to give you guys a better idea of what uh, this first part does, if I go ahead and put in like a semicolon or a colon rather in here and then save it and click refresh, now we've got our colon dividing, well, two spaces, a colon, space, colon, space. Okay, so that's basically what joins our uh, array elements when they get converted into a string. That's what this is over here. Okay, so that's how to use the implode function. Now let's take a look at how to use the explode function. So uh, basically what that does is take in a string and then explode it into an array. Uh, so we might as well just copy, I mean, uh, comment those out because we're not going to use them right now. And let's make a new string over here, or just a string rather. And we'll set this equal to some random string. Uh, the key to immortality, not dying. First person to guess where that is from gets a thumbs up from me. Okay, so... Uh, now let's go ahead and use this explode function and basically what it's going to do is explode all of these words into an array. Okay, so 
to do that we obviously type in the function name which is explode and then we've got to put in our parentheses okay and this uh, uh, function also takes two arguments and the first argument is going to be where do you want to explode the string so if I go ahead and I use the spaces that means my first array element will be the my second array element will be key the next one will be two etc so if I go ahead and just use the space as the place that I want to explode this um, I completely forgot what I was going to say but if I use the space to explode the string then we'll get each word in its own uh, array element okay then the next thing is obviously the string that we want to explode so uh, string and again we should probably be storing this in a variable so I'm gonna go ahead and just make a variable here and we'll call it uh, new array man don't you just love my naming conventions they're just so good okay uh, okay so now let's go ahead and just echo well we can't just echo out an array so we're gonna have to use a for each loop okay and obviously this for each loop will take in the new array as value and then in here we'll just go ahead and echo the value out okay so if you guys don't know how to go how to watch for each loops you can go back and watch my previous tutorial and I explain all of that okay um, but basically what we're going to do now is just loop through the array and print out each element so we should get um, this entire sentence and now that I'm actually looking at this I should probably just put in a break tag so that everything appears on a new line so let's go back here and click refresh and now we have the key to immortality not dying all printed out and uh, they're actually printed out as array elements just like that so that's how the implode and explode functions work obviously the implode making a string out of an array and explode taking a string and turning it into an array so that's all I have for you guys in this video obviously don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time